this is the Talos Principle 2. I played the first game, then I got to the ending where you have to solve a bunch of puzzles. Then I got stuck on the puzzles, and I didn't play for two years. Then I just opened it because this game came out, and I finished the game. Easy. And I, I just don't know why I rage quit two years ago, because it was great. And this game is apparently going to be much more beautiful. Actually, I don't know what I'm in for, uh, but I'm excited. The prophet hath no honor in his own country. I don't know what the word hath means. I have always felt that a human being could only be saved by another human being. Initializing firmware. Loading autonomous program parameters. System check. Initializing memory banks. Starting autonomous process. Ready. Now the last game ended by you destroying the simulation and waking up into a robot body, which I assume this is. Although this seems very much like the first game. I'm playing the second game, aren't I? Huh. Behold, child. Elohim! I haven't you heard risen from the dust, you in a while. And you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your friend, and I am called Elohim. Elohim. Looks like we're in the tutorial area. You know, that does make sense. I know how plenty of these things work, luckily. That's a jammer. It jams things. That's a, you know, your average cube. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, all right, so this is the simulation. Why are we starting this in this land is but a dream. You will stay here only for a little while. Okay. Soon you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Mm. Well done, my child. Oh, I love these puzzles. I don't... You know, I'm, I'm pretty glad to see them again. Though, I feel like this is only the tutorial, and I hope that's the case. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to redo the first game all the way over. Which is alright. It was fun. We have to get all the pieces to get through that door further ahead. That's what I remember. Oh, I love these sounds! The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created. Let's go. We got more puzzles to go. More things to learn, I'm pretty sure. That's what they want. Um... Aha! Look at me go! Okay. Oh! That automatically just starts working. Oh, no. Oh! You press space to do a little jumpy. Very good. Thank you, Papa! Hello, him is such a daddy. Take that off, because we can use it as weight, and I know that. Oh, now that I think about it, I think I'm supposed to get on. Get on. Do that, and then jump. Can't wait until we get to the turrets and shit. Oh, man. Whee! What does it do? Oh, I got a cube. Mm. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm supposed to block out the laser so I can go in. I saw it the moment. Oh, oh that was the easiest one. I remember that in some of these, there were secret stars you could collect. Then again, that's probably only the first game. This is still the tutorial area anyways. 
Jammer. Let's get that jammer. Then let's... No, apparently not. I was wrong. Oh, right. You place it on here while it looks at that. Meaning you can jam this still. Now, here's the other thing. Oh, why would you... You can't jam that, so what's the point? Or you can't jam any of this. Yeah, I thought so. That's weird. Huh. Huh? Huh? Can you can you jam through this? Oh, you can. Never mind. We're good. And then we jam that. Yippee! Excellent. That's all pieces. On to the next area. We're going fast. Oh, I found another one of these. Do not be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself. As am I, after a fashion. Oh, what does it say? The world is full of limitless beauty, and I wish to see as much of it as I can. I agree, buddy. There should be another one around here. Over there, I think. I botched the first recording, that's why. Uh, luckily, it was only until here. I must forge the tools by which humanity will rebuild itself and transform the world into an Eden that never was. Awesome. Do I use it on these? Nope, I use it on these. Yes. Time to puzzle. I'm sure I can figure it out. There we go. Easy. I am proud of all my children. Thanks, Daddy. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth. Hmm. I know exactly. Yeah. How these work. I'm gonna keep those in. I love that noise so much. It's the noise of success. The noise of victory. The noise of success. This one, that one, that one, and that one. Look at that. Easy. I am a puzzle man. I am the man who solves puzzles. Oh, right. These can um, obstruct each other. I remember. So. I think you're supposed to like. Okay, let's undo this one first. Yep, thought so. Uh, and then, in order to get to that one... Hold on, let me think. Because I don't need that one anymore. You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish. But remember, my child, that the new mm. world awaits you. And this place is only a dream. Look at me go! Two left. Only two left. Oh, I love the way this looks. This looks... Oh, man. I honestly wonder what the new... Uh, the new place looks like. Because I've seen the images. Well, that's nice. Feels like I need that somewhere, right? And you. What is our objective here? Hold on. Um, to get the blue over there, and the blue would be... Oh, okay, I get it. Let's get this on here, that over there, and that over here. Boop! Just like that. They dodged each other, and we're done. Mm, what does this do? Ah! I see. Like that, like that. Get on there. Boop. Whoop. 
Thank you, child. I have finished preparing your vessel. Oh, it was now, just... Now, hear my advice. Okay, yeah. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I, in my garden, could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. Oh, that sounds great. But above all else, you will have to be human. Oh, interesting. No, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes. No, we're, this is the same result. There we go. Step into the light, child. I will, just a moment. And awaken. You okay, Pop? Whatever happens, we're in it together. Time to go. So that was the tutorial area. This is the new world. Ah, you're awake. Oh, yeah, hello. Welcome to the world of the living. Okay. I'm alive. Indeed you are. And I'm glad to see you're so enthusiastic about existence. But I suspect you're also more than a little confused. Yeah. Don't worry. Everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history. So we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Okay. I could really use some pointers. Of course. You want the short version or the long version? Oh, that's a good question. Give me the short version. I'd like the long version, please. I want to know everything in the excruciating amounts of detail. I kind of want to press it. But I probably have to sit through a lot. I'm going to do it, YOLO. You asked for it. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human like they did, but they were organic. <gasps> they built an advanced technological civilization, but unfortunately their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate. Of course. And an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. Oh, that's one of the, uh... oh man. Didn't they have the, uh, didn't they have advanced medicine too? That's something our historians still debate. Why weren't they more prepared? Why did they invest so many resources into making war? Mm, greed. And so few into useful research? Mm, pure greed. It's hard to understand. But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. No, it was Big Pharma. <laughs> Straight up, Big Pharma. <laughs> A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word. Aww. But it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. Poor Elohim. Sentient and afraid. He didn't want the simulation to end, so he tried to cheat. I feel sorry for him, really. The whole simulation was built around learning to defy him. It must have been hard to be in that position. Oh, yeah. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. Oh. And it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's cute. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker? A caretaker. Oh. I like that. Was there anyone else in the simulation? Yes, there was Milton, 
the intelligence in charge of the archive, a project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, okay. which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. Uh oh. And the simulation created us? It did. Oh. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. That was me in the previous we call game. Her the founder. Oh. Although the name she took was Athena. Oh. She then woke up no. Cornelius and used Tathias. Oh, so it wasn't me. Together, using the tools left behind by the progenitors team, they created ten more humans. These twelve who followed the founder are known as the first companions. Oh shit. Athena and the first companions then set out to rebuild the world. Uh -huh. And they founded the city of New Jerusalem. Oh. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Oh. Many still await her return. Maybe we're supposed to go find her. And how do I fit in? Before the founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it the goal. <laughs> Capital G and O. All. all right. To make 1,000 new humans. 1,000? And so complete New Jerusalem. Okay. Well, that's the official story. The mm. way the mayor tells it. Hmm? And I'm number 1,000? Exactly. Oh, shit. We don't actually have 1,000 citizens because there have been a handful of deaths over the centuries. Oh. But you are the 1,000th new human to enter this world. Hey, look at me. Congratulations. Yay. What do I win? Thank you. That was pretty exhaustive. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. Uh-oh. Am I going to be welcomed? Oh, am I immortal? No, there's death is a thing. I'm ready to get going. Let's go. Oh, one more thing. Oh. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, mm -hmm. you have access to the interface, uh, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, ooh. and so on. It's a crucial tool. And modular, too. You can easily add new functions. What? Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. Why? What? What does the 33 stand for? What are you... Are you number... You're number 33? Ain't no way. Do I have 1,000 on my chest? Oh, that would be so cool. I want a mirror. Where's a mirror? Mirror! I like the way this looks. Although I feel like I'm turning a little too fast, so it's not very... Cinematic. Yeah, feels better. Ooh! Not allowed to go here? Why is... For an advanced civilization, this is awfully sloppy. It's also kind of awfully dark. This is a reconstruction of the Chamber f of the First Companions, where the First Companions rested until the Founder awoke them. The original chamber was disassembled into the early days of New Jerusalem. Ooh. I can't run. It's kind of sad. All right. There I am, the 1,000th. And I look like this. Look, it's 1K. 1K, I like that. Hey, 1K, welcome to New Jerusalem. Ah, oh, this is cute. Shouldn't the mayor be starting his speech? I'm born. I have been born. I am here. This should be interesting. At least give him a chance. Hello. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, he sounds like one. Many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision Ooh. was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this Earth. To that end, she set the great goal 
we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. And today... Oh, have... that does oh, not seem good. Elohim? Is that you? People of New Prometheus. Jerusalem. I am Prometheus. Uh -oh. And I will reveal that which was hidden. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Oh. Curse you, Pandora. Pandora? You will not chain me again. This is weird. Brave new world. That was the prologue. That was the, the prologue. Sorry, that was the prologue. Prologue. Pro prologue. Wow, this is... Oh, I love that. Oh, my. Look at how fast. Oh. All right, then again, yeah, there's no need to... I told you we should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. I the love the way this looks so much. This isn't caution. It's stagnation. Exploration? Too dangerous. Expansion? Too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation. I call it balance. And I call Why do I idiot. Re recognize his voice? Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm going to need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. <laughs> Someone who that hasn't me? spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. I like this. This if is so cool. An adventure, Ooh. Meet us at the conference room. Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my God. You see, I have habitly excited... What the fuck am I saying? So there seems to be a lot more going on here than we think. Uh, I mean, if everything was built by us new humans, whatever that Prometheus was, was probably also built. Unless it was... Not... Mr. Freeman, you're running late this morning, aren't you? About that beer, I owed you. Attend the briefing. Hello, Josephus. Can I not speak to you? Oh, okay, that's what that means. Oh, they went the other way. Hey! I'm alone. Oh! What's broken now? I did. It's not a horror game. Oh! I thought this... Oh, this is an elevator. Oh, God, look. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, no, please don't kill me. All right, listen up. I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so oh. maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers <laughs> or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? Pellegrino? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonkay. That's all right. I see you there in the elevator. <laughs> I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. Great way to start life in the city, huh? I guess. This place is more broken than I thought it would be. What the hell is a jiffy? I don't know. These bloody language libraries. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I love the way this is designed so much. Interface content available. What the hell does that mean? So excited to play this. I really am. And I'm already playing it. That should say something. This does make me feel like... I'm the, the the new human. I've been. Oh, hello. Can I speak? Oh. Hey, hold on there. Oh God. 
You're the newbie, aren't you? Oh, you're really going to... Number 1,000. Oh, it's number 666. Six, six. would go dry before we reach the No goal. wonder you're acting like this. I have a question. Uh-huh. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomised psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors they've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? I don't believe in feelings. I'm just a machine. Do you want to get on the non-cooperative path with me? Because that's how you get on the non-cooperative path. Oh. It's not fun. Okay, sorry. I guess I do believe in feelings after all. In fact, I am feeling. You're right. It's not fun because I can't have fun. Because I don't believe in feelings. Oh, sorry. You're right. It's not fun because I can't have fun. Because I don't believe in feelings. No, oh, fine. I'll just... Hungry. Ah, I'm hungry. Excited? Excited. I'm excited. Why? What? Oh, it's, they asked me why, not what. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't see a way to explain it. I'm the last of us. I'm I'm sure I'm going to be special somehow. Ooh, I'm not so sure about that. I don't know where this quote came from because life found a way. Robot City. What's there not to like? By limiting our growth today, we are more assured to seeing tomorrow. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Because all things considered, I'm lucky to be here is... That is all. So, the algorithm assigned you the optimism trait. I don't know. If is only that... we could all be so lucky. That's a thing? Now, listen. This meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends. What? The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. I don't know if I'm... I'm not really interested in whatever it is. Sorry, 666. Are you sure? Yes. You might miss out on something juicy. Yeah, listen, uh, you, uh, your number gives me red flags. I'm going to hop out of this train. Suit yourself. Before you go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. All right. Well, that would make sense, given the things of existence. Welcome. Do please join us at the table. Hello. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later, and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. Oh, that's number seven? If we could focus on the issue at hand. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Hmm. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. So some of these guys are older, much older, like number seven over there. Can anyone fill me in what's... I'll keep listening. I'm going to keep listening. Al's right. Let's move past this for now and deal with this transmission. Yakut, please start the briefing. Number right, 764. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. Hey, no we problem. We first became aware of the site-designated TTP-2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. Ooh. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not Very be interested cool. in the island, but the island <clears throat> is definitely interested in us. Mm. Sounds like potential danger to the city. I think the mystery is worth investigating. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now. Let's go. I want to go out. At this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. Good. I agree. Why do you talk like that anyways? Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Yay! Byron, you will be in charge. Awesome. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested. And if 1K wants to join I you... I do! That's fine by me. Let's go, adventure! I'm in! Excellent. Oh, 
This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I Come bet. Come on the landing pad when you're ready. Why am I so excited? Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. I have to agree with it that. Jeremy, <gasps> it's German 885. That's oh, it's German 832. Come Damn it. Around. See what you make of the place. I kind of want to talk to German 832. Hello, 1K. Hi. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. Oh, really? Sorry. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. I think it's important. But what's done is done. So I have a lot of work to get on with. Cool. Who are you? It's German 985. What do you expect? I don't have to ask who that is. I won't keep you any longer. What do you think of me? Oh, I'm curious. You represent the completion of the goal. Ooh. I'm proud of what we've achieved. Yeah. And the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. Hmm. What do you do around here? All the things no one else wants to do. Oh. Polling the citizenry, implementing new policies, recording decisions, fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. Huh. All right, won't keep you any longer then. Sorry. Oh, I can still talk to this mayor. Hermanubis. Herma Herm Herm Anubis. Interesting. Hello? What can I do for you, 1K? I kind of want to know, did you decide... How did you decide to become involved in politics? How do you feel about Brian? I really don't care how he feels about Brian. What's your vision of the future? I like that. I believe we can exist quietly, happily, without imposing ourselves on this world. Ooh. Finding meaning within ourselves and in the natural miracles that surround us. Yes, but isn't there a threat? How did you get involved with politics? It was a time of great uncertainty. The founder had left us, and our society was at a crossroads. Interesting. History teaches us that during such times, terrible passions may seize the people. I bet. Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. Our fragile city could not afford such things. Yeah, I mean, there's only a thousand people, so it does make sense. That is why the founder gave us the goal. A path to equilibrium. Equilibrium. Not only for the planet, but for ourselves. Mm. I merely picked up where she left off. Delicious. Are you sure about that? I'm it's gonna go, though. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. Interesting, interesting. This is all very weird and cool why does explore the city oh that's optional i do kind of want to take a look though because this is a great beautiful city what if i can't come back to it anymore right i think it's important i do want to go on the expedition what's behind here i want to know we go down to the city we go to explore i mean they built this Attention whole all citizens yes jeremy due to the new power management and distribution plan there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. I am. The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Aww. Thank you. I... And may the founder be with you. You know, I get the feeling that we're going to not only be exploring this place anyways, we're going to have to start, start solving puzzles here. And you... Ooh, I like this. Oh, there's like a little terrarium. We got like lizards in here. We got dragonflies that are flying really weirdly together. What the fuck? I think something's wrong here. I don't think it was supposed to... Ooh, there. Well, alright, I guess. What about the other side? Oh, little structures. And nothing else. New content available? What does it say? Sign our petition for a public referendum. New Jerusalem needs new forms of energy generation. I have to agree. If we're already low on power. Hello, one K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. Hi. I know you just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, but can I have a second of your time? Can I have a second of your time? I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. Can you sign my petition? Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels. Oh, for sure. None of which is enough to even cover our basic unreliable. needs. Unreliable. if anything fails, <laughs> we'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. 
Ooh, extinction? That sounds really bad. Is that really that bad? What do you propose? We need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power. We need to invest time and resources into functional, real-world solutions that serve human needs. Mm, man, this feels... We're so human. Why a referendum and not an election? Oh, an election would be good too, but <laughs> I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. Hmm. What do you make of Prometheus? Byron's been advocating exploring that island for some time, and obviously he's right. Something very strange is going on there, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's going to start affecting us. Hmm. Do you work at the dam? No, I help run the public transit system, but I witness the impact of the city's power problems every day. If you do that job, it makes sense. Them away. Yeah, you know what? I, I'll it sign. Thanks, 1K. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself. Yeah, I do that at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Fair enough. Good luck with everything. Yeah, no, I, I think that deserves a little bit of a... I mean, if we are the humans of the future... And there's only a thousand of us. It's not... Oh, what the f We got a guitar playing one? Damn, Jan. He's sitting alone, though. That's kind of sad. Where's the... Oh, he's 112. He's been alive for quite a while, I guess. No, I don't feel like there's much to do. It seems empty as hell. Alexandria Drennan Memorial. Tablets of the Founder. Milton's Rest. Tablets of the Founder. Oh, Hello, who's you? Number 862. Founder bless you, 1K. Oh, I like that voice. How lovely of you to come here. Yeah, no to problem. To the very spot where she established the teachings that led to your creation. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be here. What did the Founder teach? The Founder taught that humanity was destroyed by its hubris. Our ancestors thought they could play God and treat this planet as something to dominate. Ooh. They surrendered to a fever of growth and extraction until the planet finally punished them for it. Fair enough. That's why the Founder created the goal. Mm. So we would have something to strive for in her absence, but also a limit we must never pass. 1,000 people? Okay. Uh, why did the Founder leave? That's not for us to know. Damn. But I believe that one day she will return. It may not be long now. Perhaps after we finish the dome. It was supposed to be finished before completion day. Well, it doesn't matter. The founder will return when she sees fit. Cool. I'm going to look at those tablets Happy over there. Completion day, 1K. It is completion day, isn't it? Be thankful to the progenitor, Alexandra Drennan. Be thankful to the keeper of memories. Be keep bright the memory of Gehina and its people who found peace. Founded peace. Found peace? Found peace. Create 1,000 city the citizens, the ideal number of humans. Live in harmony with nature. Maintain balance in all things. Be respectful towards each other. Be respect the traditions of our people. Interesting. Be mindful of the mistakes of our ancestors. I like these tablets. Not necessarily 100%, but yes, quite. Look at that building over there. I kind of want to know. Ooh, we got some... Hello, who are you? Nice to meet you. Same, number 469. Ooh, you got a nice number. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Accidental. What's up, what's up? We got number 12. Completion day. Wow, you are number 12, aren't you? That's kind of awesome. What an honor. That's Brenna? Bre... Bre... Be... Benorion. Ben Blood, blood get. Happy completion day. Where are you? Hello. 150. I like your number. Very cool. Got 940. Bless you. Number 555. I like that. Hello. What do you think that was? It was Prometheus. <laughs> Not sure, but it wasn't the actual Prometheus. These two are brothers. It was some kind of a projection. I like that. How do you know 
it wasn't the actual Prometheus. Because that would be stupid? <laughs> would it? How do you know all the ancient gods weren't projections like this one? Maybe they weren't. whoever said this projection is behind all those legends. Sure, I guess technically that's possible. But it's not very likely, is it? I don't think any of us are very likely. Ooh. What if it's a mess? All right, I, these guys are going to keep going, I'm sure. Hello, 994. Wow, you were close to being 1,000. You were close to being me. Helga, 101. I like that. What's this say? Helga's Digital Well-Being and Spiritual Tuning Emporium. What the fuck? Hello, new one. Hello. Are you browsing or buying? You can buy? I'm browsing. I've uploaded my most popular items to your interface. Does anything there spark your imagination? Can I see what there is? Internal monologue, 10 credits, future predictions, inner peace. I don't have any credits. A clean start, sensory tuning, credits? Oh, you don't have any credits yet. I don't know what they are. Well, let me extend you some credit. Oh, ka -ching. Thanks. 55 credits. Awesome. Just make sure you spend them with me. I fair enough. They're not worth much anywhere else. Oh. Now, what was it you wanted? Uh, I'll go with a future prediction. For 20 credits, I can peer into your future and tell you what I see. Okay. Let me consult the algorithms. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm afraid you're going to change the world. Of course I am. <laughs> you will have a choice, but whatever you do, New Jerusalem will never be the same again. Ooh. I'm sorry it's not better news. That's fine. Best not to worry about it, dear. You just do your best to have fun in the meantime. All right. So, something else, perhaps. Sensory tuning. Inner peace for 1,000 credits. A very popular choice. Enhanced sensory perception lets you distinguish sounds, shapes, and colors at greater distance. Oh, this is an it's upgrade? 10 credits. Can I... Am I just upgrading okay, myself? I'm updating your settings now. And hey presto, superhuman senses. Oh wow, yeah. Does the air taste fresher? No. Do you hear the birds chirping outside the door? No. And beyond that, the river bubbling through the dam. Uh, I'll just pretend to believe it and taste okay, the birds. Phew. I'll let you into a secret. Oh yeah, what's up? You and I don't have fleshy appendages like our ancestors. I know. What we can sense is mostly a function of where we direct our attention. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope you find something worth paying attention to. So, something else perhaps? Nah, we good. Before you go, do you have a moment to participate in some customer feedback? Nah, man. Are you satisfied with what I've given you? Yeah, sure. I mean, I got it for free. All you're selling is words. <laughs> yes, you're offering more than you let on. No, never ask me again. Seriously. Yeah, sure. I'll be nice. Yes. Yes. You understand. Ah, uh, do I? Are you sure? <laughs> words manifest the reality they describe. Are you fucking sure when about you that? you name something, you create it. Uh-huh. Our minds are algorithms. And the right sequence of language can change our underlying code. I highly doubt that. With that in mind. I hope you have a good day. Oh, I mean, fair... It, Please it, come back if you need anything else. I mean, technically speaking, it's possible. We are robots, but we have a, a, a humanoid built algorithm. So, uh, who, are, who are you? 923. I don't really feel like talking to you. I do want to know what this is. Museum of the Simulation. Oh, visit the mu Museum of Simulation. Replica of gargoyle assets found in the simulation. Gargoyles with grotesque anthropomorphic at at apotra apotra symbols <laughs> the fuck i can't read the rest of that i'm fucking embarrassed right now roman statues okay okay oh man this is a big museum i am wasting so much time i should be playing the game 
I'll go look through this myself for a bit. And, um... Is it number three? Cornelius? I want to talk to him. Greetings. Welcome to the Museum of the Simulation. Hello. My name is Cornelius. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, 1K. Hey, same. You're number three? Yes. Athena activated myself and Eustathius shortly after she was born. Awesome. We've been here almost since the beginning. What happened to your face? we didn't have to pass through the trials of the simulation. She did that for us. What? For everyone. Oh. What was Athena like? Tell me more about the simulation. Tell me more about Elohim. He didn't. He wasn't there. He just said so. What was Gehenna? Gehenna was a community Gehenna. created inside a prison in the simulation where Elohim would exile those minds he considered a threat to the process. Ooh. In the last moments of the simulation, he repented of his sins and had the prisoners freed to become part of the gold disc. Wait, isn't that a bad thing? Some small part of them may survive inside you. Ooh. Okay, what was Athena like? She was human. Huh. Okay, thank you, that's all. Cool, we met number three. We got the cube here. We got whatever this is. Oh, that's one of those computers. All right, well, I know all about the first game and it's creepy exploding balls with lasers. This one was even worse, I think. I don't remember this one though. Electrified. All the puzzle types with their combinations and shit. Oh, I can do this? <laughs> oh man, this is, hold on. I kind of want to arrange these, see what happens. <laughs> cool. All right, I'm wasting time. I should probably be going to the uh, actual game. Am I going the right way? Nope. What number are you? 303. 166. What number are you? 842. Interesting. Are they following this guy? Ooh, I like these recreations. Do we got a puzzle to solve here? Oh shit. Oh yeah, we do. Do we? Where's the uh... Oh shit. Found a random ass puzzle. Oh, actually, sorry, my bad. Oh. Oh, and there would be one of these. Oh, I kind of want to... I think you're not allowed to grab it. That's the thing. It's just a pretend. <laughs> I think that's funny as hell. Awesome. Let's close this for anyone else who wants to have fun. Why am I being considerate to whatever does not exist? I don't know. Don't ask me. Oh, there's another one. I love how they're playing the music. <laughs> this is funny as hell. Uh, we got blue. What else do we got? Oh, we got no. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let me let me make it all the way over there. Come on. Oh. Oh shit. Um, I kind of fucked my. Oh crap, I'm stuck. Oh no. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh wait. Okay, thank god. I gotta think. I think you're not even supposed to grab. Maybe you are. If I... Can I manage to please... Yes. Am I winning? I am winning. Let's grab it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I get an achievement if I do them all. So it means I didn't do the last one proper. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, yeah, I get it. 
think. Uh, what does this activate? Ah, in that case, I got to use this one to do the other. I got to think this one out. Am I missing an object? No, I doubt it. I'm being an idiot. That's what I am. I swear it's it's grabbable. It has to be done. Give me. I took a small break uh, because my brain apparently can't handle this simple fucking puzzle. Or it's unsolvable. <laughs> I'm actually... Stumped. Okay, so here's the thing. If we can get... It's impossible. It's impossible. Because that door's not going to go down. No, it's impossible. I can't use three blues. Because I need to use one red. Oh, shit. And then I would normally change... Because if you remove one of these, everything goes down. There's no in-between. There's no in-between! Am I missing something? Oh my god, I hate this. I'm not supposed to fail at this shit. Nah, fuck that. Unsolvable. Unfrickin' solvable. I don't know, maybe I'm stupid. But I, I believe it's unsolvable. Is there another one? Yep. Oh, I like this one. I love this, this, the feeling of the old. Is this one solvable? Please tell me this one's solvable. This one's totally solvable. I know this one. I know how the... Sorry. Hold on. I know how this one works. I just do. Bam! <laughs> oh, I didn't really need to do that, did I? Oh, I needed to do that. My bad. Now we're good. What? Oh, I guess it didn't reach. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Let's be real. If those other two are solvable, then the other one is too. Right? There's no way that both of them are solvable, but that one isn't. I, hold on, let me check if there's an achievement for it. 87 achievements. 35 hidden achievements. I'm sure that you have to beat all of them to get an achievement, and I guess it's one of the hidden ones. Oh, you know what? I'll be back once I find the fucking solution to this. It's imp- Oh, come on. I'm an idiot. Oh my fucking god, I am an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I'm actually an idiot. It was so fucking simple. This whole time. Oh my god, you gotta be. I didn't get an achievement. We had that one. All three of those have been done. Is there more? Did I miss it? Did I forget? No, I I did. Hold, let me. Did I? I did them all though. Can I has achievement? <laughs> I am so disappointed right now. I should probably continue the actual game now.
Then again, there is an achievement for exploring all of this place, by the way. All of it. And not just up there. Maybe I'll come back here at some point, right? I do kind of want to know what's up this. Hello. Number 151. 890. Ooh, is it? Oh, the cat. I remember. Something about... Oh. Next cat. Dana and Fox. The truth out there. Love you and Nessies. Ninas. Nanyas. Nanyas. Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. For a creature with so much fur, you were always trying to keep warm with your, your oversized hats. Oh, this is just a cat show up. That's adorable. Oh, I like them. Oh, they're so cute. I love cats. Oh, this one's a sleep. Biscuits. Pretty cats. What about these? <laughs> I love them. All these cats, cat pictures. I love them. Keep it up. More. More. Fellow cat lovers out. There's no way that's a... That's a fake cat, isn't it? Someone, yeah, no, it's a fake cat. Oh shit, it moves! You got cats? We got cats? Oh my god, it looks really kind of weird though. <laughs> Looked like a little gremlin. Oh, love those uh, cats with the double eyes. I'm glad I managed to uh, explore the cat memorial for a little bit. I like it. I got great cats. Oh. Ooh. Damn, damn. Truly special creature. So glad I saved you. Cute. I like this cat monument. Totally a necessity. Something you put in any world. Yeah, fuck that. I'm gonna explore before I go into the mission. Who knows if I can ever come back here. Gehenna Memorial. It's closed? Postponed in accordance with the new power management and distribution plan. Oh, this... Oh. Okay, well, maybe later we unlock more power for the city or something? And then we can go take a look. Friends of New Jerusalem, gazebo. I can meet people here. Oh! Speculating on the meaning of this Prometheus figure is premature until we can agree on its nature. You already have a theory. I know it's beyond any projection technology I'm aware of. If it wasn't us, it must be alien. Nah. Unlikely. Just because you haven't seen them doesn't mean they aren't there. <laughs> Fair. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. One key, we'd appreciate your thoughts on this. Mm -hmm. Now we've achieved the goal, fresh perspectives like yours will be increasingly hard to come by. Fair. I'd love to get a quote from you for this evening's newsletter. Ooh. Speculation aside, one key, is there anything we can know for sure about this Prometheus? Uh, can't have come from the city. It's surely some kind of trick. It appeared to be human. Whatever it is, it came from inside the city. It directed us to an island somewhere. Here's what I actually think. What I think is, it's an awfully convenient time for this to happen. But that's not one of the options. That's undeniably true. And what does that tell us? Must treat its direction with suspicion we may learn by following its directions sender of this message is obvious okay learn that was my conclusion as well the apparition also appeared to be human what can we assume from that you can understand understand its meaning we have no hope of understanding its meaning its origin must also be human 
I do think so. We can't know that for sure. It may, as Jack suggested, be entirely alien and just presenting itself as human. I think wherever it came from, we can reasonably hope to understand it in time. Mm. I'm also sure that we lack the knowledge ourselves to create a projection of such clarity and magnitude. Not all of us. You don't know that. It must have been someone in the city. It could have possibly been someone within the city because phenomena is more technology invents than we are. I have no idea. Whoever or whatever is behind this, we're on the back foot. We need more information. We need more information. What makes you think it was a projection at all? Good question. How do we know it wasn't just a mass hallucination? Ah, I consider awfully some convenient. kind of bug in our code. But if so, it would have to be shared by all of us. So, we're speculating again. <clears throat> We've locked in the premises. I'd like to hear 1K's best guess. Oh man, dude, that's 420! I'm so sorry I treated you with any disrespect. I am so sorry. Please, ask all the questions you want. I don't think it's one of us is behind it. I don't think one of us is behind all of this. I guess some of our kind is behind all of this. Most likely a citizen of New Jerusalem, most likely outside, most likely the government of New Jerusalem. Beyond that, I can really not say. Can I quote you on that? Yeah! Yeah, sure. Cryer, if you must put all of this on record, then please note that I didn't share 1K certainty. Well... Thanks all for hashing this out with me. No problem. Let's hope the mayor signs off on exploring this island. I only wish I could join the expedition. Why can't you join the expedition? If Melville's going, someone has to stay behind to keep the lights on. Mm. I'm not letting Pellegrino near the dam. Huh. I hope the next time we speak, we'll have a bit more data to go on. Yeah, I'll be going. Cool. That was 42656 and uh, 587. Cool. Interesting. I feel like there's only one more thing I need to explore, I think. Four for four. Hi. Uh, I didn't get the achievement, so I didn't explore all of this place, I guess. And again, there's probably more places for us to go at some point. Unless there's something I missed over in that direction. I'm actually kind of curious. Hello. Hello. There's something behind over there. Four, seven, Hi. oh. Hi. Interesting. When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient mist. Isn't really gone. I agree. That's a lovely message. Nearly everything on this I kind of don't feel like listening to all of this. Hello? Jefferson, what are you? Oh, you're still 470. Wait, she was human? I didn't think Alexandra Drennan was actually human. No, hold on. They they aren't human. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Jump. Water. Oh, man. You know, I want to drink that. And for some reason, I feel like eating watermelon right now. No, literally no onset anywhere for that to be the reason. Oh, puzzle pieces. A gun, oh my god. Ancient human projectile weapon used for hunting and warfare, law enforcement, crime. Personal protection produced en masse, used all around the world. On average, ancient humans killed hundreds of times of population of New Jerusalem per year. What? Oh my god, a toothbrush! Hold on. The ancient human mastication apparatus required frequent maintenance. This device... Mastication apparatus. You mean our teeth? <laughs> Theorized to be an advanced electrical tool for this purpose. Although some scholars maintain that its actual use was rustic and intended to mark the sunrise and sunset. What an interesting hypothesis. It's an electric toothbrush, though. You got a book? 
printed edition of the complete works of Stratton Stratton. Philosopher who divide Talus principle. Fork. Simple utensil used to transport nutrients to an ancient human body, human's mouth. Often found in conjunction with a knife and spoon. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. The humans were so interesting. Hello. 998. Wow, you were close to being 1K. Dude, it's you. Dude. You're 1K. Yeah. So nice to meet you. No dude. problem, I saw you on the dude. Completion day stream. Hey. Have you checked out all this ancient stuff? I'm, I'm on it, man. That's why I'm here. Me too. Yeah. This is amazing, isn't it? I agree, man. Your station is unusual. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I thought this voice pack could give me a bit of confidence, help me stand out, you know? Oh, my God. But I'm not sure it's working. I'm not sure it's working, man. What's a dude? Dude is an old human word that means an excellent person. Awesome. And I like to use it because I think we should all be excellent to each other. Yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> Tell me about these human artifacts. They're pretty neat, huh? Yeah. My favorite is that thing called a toilet. Oh my god. Our ancestors had to use it like three times a day to do a memory dump, and if they didn't, they freaking exploded. Oh my god. Imagine having to deal with that sort of anxiety all the time. Bummer, huh? Bruh. Literally bummer. Fuck, sorry. I'm almost as new as you are. Yeah. I'm 998, so I I've saw only it. been around for a year or so. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. All right, it's all cool right. Though, right. Yeah. I mean, existence. It's totally gnarly. Totally gnarly. Um, not sure if I used that right. Yeah, I know you did, man. <laughs> I'm sure the founder knew what she was doing. I mean, our ancestors did sort of mess up, right? Yeah. So we should probably take it easy with the expanding and stuff. Yeah. Plus, did you see that trippy sky projection thing? Mm, yes. That was some freaky stuff, man. Freaky stuff, man. It just seems safer to stay in the city. Uh, well, we gotta get some. It's definitely better to be careful. Uh, do you really think so? Sure, I do. When I first left the birthing lab, I was so overwhelmed that I hid in my quarters for three weeks straight. Oh, poor and if guy. I'm being honest, that's sort of where I want to be right now. Oh, I better be going. Right, before you go, dude. Yeah, what's up? Uh, maybe you can help me? Well, what do you need, man? I'm not sure I should keep this voice back. Nah, you should totally what keep do you it. What you think? Oh. You're 1K, you're special. You're special. I'm happy to go with whatever you recommend. Bruh, you should keep that voice pack. Stick with it, it's unique. Yeah, All dude. Right, excellent. Yeah. Thanks, dude. No problem, dude. <laughs> excellent. I got an achievement telling Purple what to do about his voice. Oh, what, who are you? 316. Nothing special. Currency. Oh, interesting. And a football. Interesting, interesting. Or soccer. <laughs> this game was played around the entire globe. Aroused great passion in its followers. Interesting wording right there. Oh, who's that? Sitting here chilling. Elmarsh. I kind of don't feel like it. Sorry. You keep chilling, my man. I'm surprisingly enjoying um, exploration of the regular world a little bit more. There's the toilet. Beautiful. Okay. I did not. A massage aid used by ancient humans to combat muscle fatigue and other physical ailments. Common biological organisms. To, uh, ailments common to biological organisms. This prevented pain in the ancient human equivalent of error codes 704-705 and 921-932. Maybe I should remember those numbers. Also, never mind. I'm not going to explain to you what that is. 502, 520, sorry. 980, interesting. And your name is Rat. Wow, their name is Rat. And they're all pink. Interesting. <gasps> Cat. 299. Dulciclus. Hello. 
You're equally as creepy looking as your counterpart. Look like a statue. <laughs> Animals in video games, am I right? I feel like there's nothing back there, but maybe there is. So let's go. Yeah, dude. Hello, who's this? We got 632, Ren. I kind of want to talk to you. 1K, you've strayed far. I have strayed far. Well, that gives me a chance to apologize for completion day not being entirely complete. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you meant the dome? Yes, it's my responsibility. He alone. I'm the chief architect. Oh, he's the chief architect. It was supposed to be done in time for completion day, but we simply didn't have enough resources. Oh, that's all right. It has two purposes, to protect New Jerusalem from the world, and to protect the world from New Jerusalem. Ah. Does the world really need protecting from New Jerusalem? That's what the Founder taught us. Mm. One city may not seem like much, but just look at the dead city, and how it transformed the environment. The consequences are still with us, even more than a thousand years later. Mm. So it's a thousand years after humanity has officially passed. Each dome constructs many resources and seems anti-ethical to the goal. Doesn't building this huge dome consume too many resources seem too unethical? Anti-ethical to the goal. You're right. I have heard that argument. Mm. But the way it's been explained to me is that the dome has a greater value than just its practical use. It's a symbol of the society we aspire to become. Mm. When's the dome going to be complete? At this rate, I'm not sure. Maybe another decade or two. Oh, okay. 200 years? Cool. It does look fairly complete, though. Look at all that. Oh, man, that's beautiful. That's complete. This isn't. Lack of resources. Little beach chairs. Can I chill? No? Oh. been here haven't I yes 26 that's a nice number I feel like I've explored everything but apparently I haven't because I didn't get the achievement that's all right maybe I'll come back in the future oh I haven't explored this no I, I probably have I came through it didn't I interesting stuff Completion day, 1K. Thanks. Number 12. I feel like I've seen them before, though. Oh, they're just playing... I thought they were playing a different instrument, but I thought I heard someone go in. Never mind. Forget it. It doesn't matter. We're done. Let's go to on a mission and do something. Actually, I'm very curious as to what this world has to offer. Outside of the dome as well. I have visited all that. And I feel like the other places are vis- No, they're not visitable. Maybe there they are. That looks like it's detailed enough. Starting to get the feeling that the only other place to explore is over there. But that's not for me to worry about right now. What I need to worry about is content and actually getting something done. We got a helicopter. Freaking awesome! Hello. So... What's the verdict? Are we going? We're going. Yes, this is an opportunity we cannot pass up. I guess Byron was pretty convincing. Huh? It's always I. Well, we'll see. 
I just wonder how much of the city is going to fall apart while I'm gone. Someone already took over your job. Actually, we haven't been formally introduced. I'm Melville, New Jerusalem's only decent engineer. Only one, really. Saved you from the elevator. Thank you. I'll let you know when I need an oil change. That sounds rude as fuck. Pleasure. Now let's get this show on the road. You ready to go? Yes. Embark on the expedition. Here we go. Hold on to your hats. We really need to update those language libraries. Thank you for coming along, everyone. <laughs> we have a chance to make a real difference here. All right. It's not just about what we find on that Man, island. look at the amount it's of places we can go we to. to be. As a people, that's a dam a over there. Civilization. Fucking awesome. To remind ourselves that we used to be wanderers, explorers. We used to yearn for distant shores and All right. dream of building new cities. Let's see if we can rekindle that flame. Well, I'm not so sure if that. All right. This is going to be a long journey. So I would like to ask you to switch to sleep mode that to conserve power until is we arrive at the island. Cute as fuck. Nighty night. Nighty night. <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs> and we're here. You have chosen oh. a dangerous path. A what? A path that will demand sacrifice. What about it, Elohim? But that, my child, is how the future is built. Wow. Because he speaks to us on occasion. Wakey, wakey, robot people. Say goodbye robot to people. Elohim and say hello Aww. to the mysterious island. Status report, please. We had some headwinds over the ocean, so fuel consumption turned out a bit higher than expected, but we should be okay. Ooh. We're approaching the center of the island now. This should be the location of the largest of the artificial structures we detected. How large are we talking? Do we have precise measurements? Should be coming into view just about. Whoa! <laughs> what it's the fuck? Big. You can say that again. That is a bloody mega structure. I'm fucking excited. It's a spine. It'd be shivering. Ha! I knew this would be exciting. Yakut, find us a place to set down. On it. Oh. It really is incredible. We're starting here. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. That means that we get to Remember make our to way over there. Streaming, everyone? Streaming? What? Oh, for the rest of the world to see. Have I ever mentioned that I hate flying? If our creators had intended us to fly, they'd have given us jetpacks. <laughs> and touchdown. Man, that was the chillest touchdown. A voice in the wilderness. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, everybody. I'm sure you're all just as excited as I am. Yes. But let's at least have some semblance of order. Sorry. Uh, Yakut, I want a map of the island and a molecular analysis of, well, everything. <laughs> Melville, tell me what the giant pyramid does. The rest of us will start exploring. Shouldn't the expedition leader stay at the VTOL? Why do you hate fun, Al? I don't hate fun. I'm just mildly suspicious of it. Excellent. Then we can all go. Yay! Explore the area. Let's go! Something's on my minimap. And it's gone. It's gone? Was it an, a creature? Interesting. Oh! Stairs leading down? Sign me up! Oh, we got a flashlight built in? Awesome. Oh, this is what we're looking at. This underground structure seems to be part of some kind of transport system. Let's go. No power, though. Oh. I'm not making any promises, but I might be able to fix the transport system. Cool. However, I don't like just randomly poking at things. That's how you get electrocuted. So please check the surrounding structures to see if you can find anything that might help me make sense of this stuff. Will do. Schematics, blueprints, a manual would be great. Find schematics. This is awesome. Instead of being somewhere where just puzzles are being done, we're exploring. I wonder what's behind those. 
has to be something special, right? Yeah. You know what would be special? An explanation. Okay. I love exploration, especially in beautiful worlds like these. And especially with a sprint button that you can't stop sprinting. What's three? Why does it say three? Can I... Is that... Oh, research. Basic information on your first expedition. Oh, this is uh, what we had before. Can I... Oh, social media. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Seriously, the founder said... Oh, I can actually be on social media in this game. <laughs> Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, uh, hard work, faith, and founder vision finally paid off. At long last, the goal established: reach 1,000th member. A space, a space at the dam is limited. Tickets will be made available via a lottery system. The celebration will also be streamed. Oh, that was all the way up there, where we were. Seriously, what the founder was that thing in the sky? We all saw that, right? Didn't accidentally turn on sleep mode while Herman was talking? Did I? I mean, it's always tempting. <laughs> Sorry, Herman. <laughs> no, we all saw it. Can confirm. I believe it's a sign of the from the founder. What else could it be? Pretty incoherent of a sign. Didn't finish whatever it was saying. Insufficient energy problems too. Founder has works in mysterious ways. Maybe it was a sign. Look at me being cancelled. Oh my god. I just got cancelled. End of threat. Straight up ending the threat because 1k answered. <laughs> oh, you see the numbers behind the... Jeremy. Alright, cool. Interesting stuff. Ooh, some... I want to go here. I want to go... Ooh! Broken door. Investigate the this structure. This different from the other structures. Older. Ooh. Have a look around, 1k. Yes, I will. Oh. Older? Did you just say older? This looks fresh as hell! That's a generator. An old one. I'm curious as to what this is going to be. Looks like they were running some sort of experiment here. Why, though? What is that? Oh, is this puzzles? Oh, red and green make blue? Awesome. That's probably a hint for what's to come, right? Uh, terminal schematic. Talos Principle 2A. Oh, that's a lot of text. Downloading schematic. Thanks, 1K. No problem. Let's see what we've got here. The file format is the same one we use in New Jerusalem, although some parts aren't loading correctly. Hmm. And it crashed. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Okay, you know what? I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. Interesting. Return to the station. I'm not done exploring! I wanna know what this is. That sort of looks like a temple. Oh, that looks like the apparition we saw. These must be the other ones. Guess we'll come back here. At some point. I wonder if I can jump off and then just, you know... Oh no, there goes 1k! <laughs> I kinda wanna do it! <laughs> YOLO! Yahoo! That's the end of the story. Oh shit, did I get booted out of the game? Did I get loaded? Am I still 1k? Come on, I'm still 1k, right? I need to know. I need to know. There's photo mode? Can I move around? Can I see? Oh, I can see myself. There we go. 1,000. Awesome. Thought well, that would have been the end of the story. No, it still says 1,000. So that means I'm still me. Looks like we're going back to the station.
Uh oh, here they come again. This doesn't seem good. What the fuck? Huh? Well, that doesn't make. Am I in sleep mode, or did that thing just materialize out of thin air? It did. Melville, I want an analysis of that particle cloud. On it. On it. Anyone got a butterfly in it? No. Do we go there? No, return to the station, it says. We go down here. Oh, it's on. We got energy. Let's go. I'm curious. I'm connecting the transport system to our interface. Hold on. Oh, hello. We can go a couple of places. Oh, this is Glasslands Ring, an artificial ring structure on the white lowlands east of a base camp. Okay, so we can't really go here yet, the megastructure, unless this is all within the megastructure. Travel to one east, main puzzles. Oh, this is, this is basically our hub. This is where we travel to different levels and do the puzzles. Where is the capsule taking 1K? To that enclosed area in the eastern lowlands. I put all the information we have on the map screen. Check out your interface. Thanks. Sorry. My bad. We'll catch up with you soon, 1K. Yes. Cool. No problem. What the fuck? Big place. Massive. Yeah, I'm gonna explore the... Oh. This place is magnificent. Look at that tower. Yeah. I wonder what it's for. Now, where are we in comparison to the megastructure? It doesn't seem like we are anywhere, actually. Anywhere close. I think we must have traveled far away. But this looks like all the puzzles are here, which is awesome. And we can die for real in this, so... One... Let's go! We got some puzzles to do! Oh, I'm already RGB shifting. I saw this earlier. Is that a puzzle? Why would there be a puzzle? <laughs> Let's solve it and find out. 1K, go ahead. I have a reoccurring nightmare just like this. Can I not... Do I have to convert? Oh, hold on. Uh, okay, I see, I see. Would make red. Oh, we got some cute music! La 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 la. Ooh, information. What's this? Whoa. I'm reading an enormous energy spike. It's another particle cloud. Where's it going? Where are you going? Oh, it's going it's to whatever this lake. gate is. Oh, I can't go here yet. I guess I haven't unlocked it. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it would go in there. I'm I think the cloud's been absorbed by some sort of device. Fascinating. This is so cool. Nova? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> into the pile of weird stuff. Fair enough. Reconnection. What's this? Use Prometheus Terminal. What does it do? You have no tokens. You are alone in your quest for the light. Find one of my sparks and I will free the fire hidden in this labyrinth. What does that mean? Looks like Prometheus has given us a way to circumvent some of these puzzles. Oh. So each puzzle has a backdoor. I guess the mythological Prometheus was kind of a trickster. So that tracks. Interesting shit, man. 
Oh, uh, so I would need blue and green, I think, to make red. So, blue and green to make red, so I would need blue and red to make green. And then red and blue. No, that, no, that, that would become... Hold on. Uh, green would make red. Look at me go, I'm smart. It travels slowly. I, I best just keep going to whatever puzzles are available. That's two puzzles. Oh! <laughs> I needed to do two puzzles to get through this gate so I could do more puzzles. I've been playing around with this machine that absorbs the particle clouds. As far as I can tell, it uses the energy of the particles to... What the hell? Build giant oh, it's, it's one of our friends. Excuse me? It's another puzzle. Collect enough energy, build a bridge, access the tower. I think. What is this? A theme park? Maybe it's an experiment. <laughs> a rat maze. It seems like an echo of the simulation. I like it. Not a deliberate recreation, but built around the same core principles. Let's not jump to conclusions, though. What's clear is that this place was meant to be explored. Mm, I so like let's that. let's do that. Okay, I guess not. Fair enough. Oh, okay, red and green would go blue. Which would mean we need green and blue to make red. Oh, I see. My bad. Oh, uh, don't put, we need, hold on, we don't need to open that one though, we just need to open this one, so we can go green, and then green and, oh, sorry, hold on, um, no, that's Hold up. Uh, um, um, green, green and blue would make red, right? Um, oh, my brain. No, hold on. Oh, this doesn't become anything if I don't do that. So, I have to do that. No, I don't. This blue and red would make... Blue and green would make red. Hold the phone. I'm annoyed. Red, uh, red and... What? Okay. Hold on, what if I... Ah, I'm confused! I gotta think. Red and green. All I gotta do is this. I'm, I'm smarter than I thought. I, w I was just I was just being a little slow. That's all. Next. Keep solving these, one K. Let's see where it leads. Why don't you solve them with me? Uh, yeah, it would defeat the fun of the game. I know. What's this? Palm reader. Explore content on a lost terminal. Founding. I'm not gonna read all of these. Baby steps. Dead city. I'll collect them. But I'm not going to read all of them. I ran the samples I collected so far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. 
The samples from the above ground structures, though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. Hold on, how do I... Okay, keep connections, right? That's a thing, apparently. Oh. Right, hold on. So I can keep the connections and then connect. And then I do this. That wasn't a possibility in the previous game. It does make things a little bit easier. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Seven? You got something? Tell me, what did you make of New Jerusalem? Feels like a museum. It's falling apart, man. <laughs> Beautiful but decaying. Fantastic, self-contained, self-sufficient. Beautiful but decaying. You're right. You're absolutely right. We had such ambitions in the beginning. But now it's all turned inwards. We've lost faith in ourselves, mm. in our humanity. Really? All we need to do now is finish that dome, and we'll be trapped in our perfectly neat little tomb. Ooh, that does sound pretty horrible. Oh, I wanted to ask you a question. Of course, ask away. Tell me about yourself. What do you think about the mega structure? Odd friendship. Mega structure. It's a mystery. Not just because it's technologically far ahead of us. It is. But is because it? we genuinely don't understand its purpose. And I think that's wonderful. I'm curious. It's just what we needed as a civilization. Ooh. I'm gonna go. Thanks for the talk, bud. Uh, that way. Uh, this way for a gate, apparently. Golden gate? Another golden gate. Interesting. Good to know. Oh, we got a... Something on our social media. What is 1K like? Hey, that's rude. Don't talk. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm curious. <laughs> I, I can answer. Hey, I'm curious. Has anyone actually met 1K? By the founder's pistons, I hope. He's interested in mechanical engineering or something. We desperately need more people to, fix, to keep the city functional. So we don't have to re rely on Melville to repair the stuff that Pellegrino f fixes, quote unquote. Hey, says Pellegrino. What does he have a fucking picture of himself? <laughs> this guy's just laying into the grass. Remember when you fixed the door in the mayor's office? How long was Herman stuck in there? You trap one mayor in his office for a week. For a week? And you're marked for life. Yeah, for a week? I hope he's an artist. Really need new stories, ideas that fit our spirits. We'll just keep growing. We don't have to worry about this. We don't have to imprison poor 1K in a cage of expectations. Thank you, Aurinia. 1K will be whatever the progenitor intended him to be and whatever the founder first saw when she established the goal. He is really interested in history, which is an excellent start. Some of you could learn a thing or two from his attitude. I want to explore. Looks like you got the perfect opportunity to treasure it, 1K. I've been begging to his to be assigned to a scouting expedition for ages, but I'm stuck here in the city and the walls closing in on me. Getting to go on an adventure is a huge blessing. I'm sorry, Arena. Thank you for defending me, by the way. Arena? Arena? Ar whatever. We've got puzzles to do. And whatever this is. What is this? Data. Trevor! I don't know who that is. Don't care. Okay, we downloaded something here. So I heard that oh. Alexandra is recording these time capsules for you out there, I guess. Thank you. Robot people of the future. Hi. Hi. And I thought to myself, surely they'll want to hear more than the wisdom and insight of a brilliant scientist like Alexandra Drennan. Surely they also want to know what I was thinking. A dumbass hardware engineer from Staten Island. 
Tell us about your insights, Trevor. Why did you spend your last months on Earth helping a crazy old Russian guy build the world's biggest backup drive? Well, let me tell you my story. Oh. When I went, yeah. What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Frank. Yeah. I'm recording right now. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> no. Y you know what? Why don't you go? Oh shit! <laughs> he wasn't happy about that. Hold up. I think I gotta. I think this is important. Meaning I can use this to keep that open. In case I would actually need that. Red. Making green. Easy. Incoming group call. I have good news and I have bad news. Uh oh. Still no idea what those particle clouds are, but I've managed to fix the transport system. Cool. I mean, I fixed another bit of it. Oh. Well, it goes to one more station now. Don't complain. <laughs> Two stations are better than none. Thank you. What was the problem? If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was sabotage. Hmm. The whole system is a mess. Let's not make any assumptions. Yaku, what does the next site look like? It's a plateau in the mountains. Seems like more of an open area with scattered structures, less enclosed. Couldn't tell much from the drone feed. There's a lot of trees. Looks pretty though. Okay. Keep exploring, everyone. Thank you. Stay alert. Oh, no, don't worry. I'm not gonna die. I think. So, how many did we do? Was that six? That was five. Wow. Still got three more to go. This goes back to the gate. I love the way this looks so much. It's just so chill. Something about it. Big flower. And there's puzzle number six. We're gonna get this easy, aren't we? Okay, let's get red and blue going. Weird. Let's get red and blue. Let's get red going. That's not how that, oh, ah, I get it, sorry. Red and blue going, and then green and blue makes red. And then we get more of these, meaning we get green and red would make blue. Oh, sorry, green and red would make blue. And then blue and red. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, blue and green makes red. Awesome. Looks like we got two to go. We're making good progress. Na na na. I don't know what the fuck we do. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just vibing along. All right, interesting. Let's put that on there. Let's grab that. Let's get that going. Because we can. See what happens after. Um, if I put that a little bit further away, I can make red with green. But I need green here. Unless... 
Hold up. Uh, this is weird. This is very weird. Mm. Okay, so I need this to be on, and for that I need red. For this, I need green and blue. Now that I think about it, what if I... I need red there to open that, so that would mean I still need green. Which would mean... I'm probably... hold on. What if... What if I get green to be up here, right? And then I can grab green from there, together with blue. Oh, I, f I forgot to do one thing here, very important. Because if I get green and blue, I can make red. And with red, okay. Awesome. Now I can take this and fly. Fly like the wind. Haha. <laughs> That was a nice puzzle. One left. Now, though, what did you just upload? A photo? I mean, technically, you're right, but... Is that... I can't tell what that is. Where? How did you even manage? You're, you're literally taking a picture with your eyes, Melville. Oh. I, I don't even know how to make my eyes go out of focus. <laughs> Clearly you've never listened to one of Herman's speeches. Some of us are busy doing actual science, not just sightseeing. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but why did they take an unfocused picture, though? <laughs> uh, eight is this way? Must be over there. I love the world building here. Hello. Entanglement. Now let's see what we have here. We would need a cube to get that up there. What lasers do we have available? We need green. Where's blue then? It should be there. If we need green... Hold up. There it is. Keep connections. There we are. Grab that. Get that on there. Um, keep the connections, maybe? No, hold on. I think I gotta get blue up there. No, because I gotta get green up there. So I need red and... Oh, sorry. Um, maybe I need... This here first. So, red, blue, green. Okay, now that can fly. That's great. Good for that thing, but... Okay, so the problem is going to be... Let's see how high this goes. That wouldn't even be able to reach that. If this were to go up, it could reach... Yeah, it could reach red and green. Red and blue and therefore make green. No, but that would mean... Oh, yeah, hold on. I can do that. And then it goes up. 
Okay, okay. So it's got it permanently now. Which means I can take this out. <laughs> and now I can get green. Yeah! Look at me go! The bridge ring seems to be fully charged now. Try accessing the tower, 1K. I will, thank you. Honestly, I would have not been surprised if you were the one doing that. Because you were probably there. Waiting for it to be ready. And then taking all the glory for yourself. But I guess we'll be good. Hello. Oh. 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 Oh, I get a couple of, um... Rotate. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, my God. I don't know if this is relevant, but St. Edward believed that Tetromino's represented the name of God and God's ability to reshape the world. True, but he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. I don't think I'm allowed to jump when I'm making these. Oh, I see. Can I not turn that? Oh, there we go. Sorry. We're here. I was terrible at the Tetromino Arrangers. Those were actually the only ones I was good at. What? I'm just saying. Let's see what's in here. I'm so excited. Whoa. Purple in the distance. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. Ha. <laughs> Is that some kind of anti-gravity? I hope so. I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. Let's go. Yeah! Oh. Ooh. In the beginning, the gods shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? Good question. That's some seriously good questioning right there. They are the same for they share the same breath. What the hell are you talking about, lady? The created because they came from the art, not chaos. They came from order. Did they though? Neither. They cannot be compared. Some refuse to judge because they are wise. Some because they fear the truth. When Prometheus saw that humankind was more alike in nature to the gods than to the animals, he stole the secret of fire from Olympus and shared it with the mortals. Was his theft justified? Damn, you're really laying it on me here. Knowledge belongs to all. Fire was not for humankind to have. Parents should not leave their children helpless. Zeus did not create fire. It was not his to own in the first place. I like that statement. Because knowledge must be earned and not given. I have to disagree with that one. I'm going to be defiant. If Zeus did not own fire, why should humankind? Ooh, I just got... Angered by the betrayal of Prometheus, Zeus punished humankind by creating Pandora. He gave her a box, and when she opened it, from inside escaped sorrow and suffering. All that remained within was hope. What does this mean? This is some deep stuff, man. Hope is itself an evil like sorrow and suffering we are lucky it did not escape wow hope may still be found if we're willing to look for it zeus intended for humankind to have hope it should have been released 
Zeus didn't. Zeus intended for humankind not to have hope, so it remains trapped. We suffer, but we do not anticipate it. This is a blessing, as Zeus intended it. Wow. Um. Maybe. Um, Zeus intended for mankind to have hope. It should have been released. Hope itself is an evil, like sorrow, suffering. We're lucky it did not escape. Why would hope be evil? I don't agree with it, but I do at the same time. Then again, in anticipation for horrible things, hope is sometimes the only things that keeps us moving. So I wouldn't consider it evil. It should have been released. Let's do that. Those who desire hope should ask themselves why it was imprisoned with the world's evils. Okay, so it was evil. What? Creature of clay, you stand before the fire. Oh. Will it make you whole, or will it destroy you? Wow. Consider the shadows cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for truth. Oh, my brain. What is this? What's... Oh my god, that's a gun. That's a big, big gun. Subnautica? <laughs> Guys, look at my stream. The beam 1K activated is connecting to the pyramid. Whoa. That looks like a massive amount of power. It looks awesome, too. That's a live of the mega structure activating the tower. About what just happened. Yeah, duh. Thoughts? <laughs> I'd say there are two distinct issues here. What is the being 1K spoke to? And what is the function of the beam? Let's start with the Sphinx. It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. Very much. Presumably the same technology. What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. Ontologically? What the Was fuck does that even mean? Was this a sentient being or some kind of recording? Good question. Mm, I'm not sure the interaction wasn't long enough. Let's skip that issue for now. Oh. What really matters here is what it was trying to achieve by asking those questions. Very much. Threatening, to be honest. Uh, it was testing me. No idea. I think it was being cryptic and annoying me. I'm going to say it was testing, testing me. Testing you to what? I don't know. See if you're worthy? Uh, who knows? That's an interesting thought. You solve the puzzles, you get access to the towers, you enable a beam, yeah. and if you do it three times, access, to the, access to the megastructure. Exactly. Maybe, but why? I don't know. It's a mystery. And for now. Don't you like mysteries, Al? Yeah. Everybody likes a good mystery. I like beer. You know what I like? Certainty. Fair enough. Come on, live a little. <laughs> We're all doomed. We should be careful. We don't know what these experts say nothing. I'm going to say nothing. You know how you get from mystery to certainty? Tell me. By solving puzzles? Yeah. Yep. 1K, you know the drill. Let's go. The rest of you, as you were. All right, cool. Activate the towers. I'm excited. I'm going to take a small break. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, I can't go there. Sad. Yahoo! 